So it's been a little while since I've uploaded on here. And long story short, it's because my computer has been giving me a huge headache when it comes to exporting videos and editing videos. And in this time, trust me, I've tried everything to fix it. I've searched far and wide, watched every video known to man, only to find out my CPU's just been absolutely dying this entire time. Yeah, it's taken me 11 months to figure that one out. But hey, better late than ever. So here's my scuffed rebuild of my computer. So for starters, I did not get every single part all at once. I started with getting new case fans because I just wanted to see how far I could go with the fans alone initially, but they did not do nearly enough alone. So I also ended up ordering a better case and new motherboard. Originally, I was going to go for an ITX build just for the small compact board. In fact, I thought that would be cool, but then I realized that that would be kind of counterintuitive to what I'm trying to do here. So I ended up just getting a micro ATX case, specifically this cool case by Johnsbo, if you've ever heard of them, because I haven't. And this case is just all mesh, so that should be great for airflow but let's be real the only reason i really got this case is because of the screen on it but yeah the build was not too hard for me all i had to do is just take out the motherboard take out all the parts of the motherboard and then just like re put it all back on the new motherboard into the new case and install the fans and whatnot didn't need any manuals or tutorials other than this the power connectors those those things are just made no sense to me but that's about it unfortunately i'm horrible at recording things over time so when i got my extra pair of case fans i forgot to record it and then when I got my AL for the CPU, I forgot to record that as well. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, this looks pretty neat compared to my old build. And now it keeps the temps cool enough to do what I gotta do and upload videos like the one you're watching right now. If you couldn't tell, I have most of the parts exactly the same as before, such as like the CPU, GPU, RAM, power supply, SSD, etc. But that's just because well, money, but also just because all I'm really looking for is just to be able to use DaVinci Resolve for how I've been wanting to use it, you know? And all I really needed to do to achieve that is just get some new cooling equipment. So that's basically what I did. All these things that kind of just work together to keep it cool. Because my CPU, GPU, etc., they're all good enough for what I need to do when it comes to performance wise. They just needed a little bit of help. But yeah, case review. Sick design, super modular, pretty easy to work with. Cable management was all right, but it has lots of cool features that which I really enjoyed. And of course it has good airflow. And of course it got a screen. So, you know, I don't like 9.5 out of 10 or so on. Fans are 10 out of 10, super easy to work with. The connecting design is really convenient and unique. And they also just look sick and they move air. So that's, that's positive in my book. For the AIO, I'm no technical guy to tell you how good the temps are, but they're better than my stock cooler, so I'm happy with that. The install was pretty easy, one-man job, and the design is really cool, and it matches with the fans perfectly. The only thing is that the RGB is a little bit dim. I don't know if that's my motherboard or what, but yeah, the RGB is pretty dim, so I don't know, 9 out of 10. But yeah, that's actually about all I got. If you're curious, I'm running a Ryzen 5 3600 and a GTX 1080, which is enough for what I'm doing. Also got 16 gigabytes of G-Skill RAM. It's a pretty humble PC. Just needed some cooling. In the future, I'll probably need more storage and I'll probably also just upgrade the CPU and get more RAM just cause why not? Video editing, you know what I'm saying? But for now we're chilling and I'm finally ready to make some videos here on this channel. Once again, assuming no other issues take place, which I wouldn't be surprised if something else happens. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this filler video. All the parts are in the description and I'll see ya.